Hi everybody, it is the 23rd of March 2022, it's approximately 20 to 9 in the evening and here we go, let's get hands on with some of the stuff in the DAISY 1.17 experimental release on my little PC test server, although everything we look at today will apply to console as well. However, before we actually dive into the game, I wanted to show you something that I didn't see in the patch notes. Um, and I don't think this has been there before. And this is in the CFG gameplay.json file. Um, this is interesting. That might have been there before. I don't know. But what this looks like it does is that it enables you to set the maximum and minimum temperatures for the months on your server. This would be for console, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So there's 12. Um, settings and there's minimum maximums so what this means is that you'll be able to have cold weather all of the time if you want to do on your server or warm weather all the time or something in between so we've got mine for example january minus three to three so you could have that as minus 10 to minus five or you could have the minimum as 10 and the maximum as 15 so very exciting so i'm going to do some more testing with that Right, let's dive into the server. Now, hopefully, I'll remember to go through everything uh, here. So this is my little um, my little bit of a test server with all, all sorts of different things on. So first up, let's look at this call. <laughs> the, the improvised spear. Look how cool this is. So the improvised spear, you make this with a long stick and an improvised bone knife, which I'll tell you about how to make in a minute or a uh, stone knife um, and although you know okay it's, it's a jabby thing might be a good stealth kill thing against zombies maybe um, let's go to first person see what it looks like but what I really like about it is that if we can have an improvised spear surely pretty soon we can have an improvised um, bow and arrow um, now when you go to throw it um, you just you kind of do that you don't re you don't throw it like um, like a javelin to try and stab, stab someone. Now, in order to get an improvised bone knife, what you need to do is you get a chicken or a hen um, and you cut it up. Let's just do that skin and quarter this. And what you'll see is once I've cut up this hen, what we then get is the bones you can then oh why well, didn't that work that time all right there you just pick up the that's it now you just put, put, put the bones in your hand and you'll get craft bone knife I don't know whether you can see that let me move somewhere can you see that in the bottom left hand corner craft bone knife hold so you do this with your hands so you the, the thing is you can skin and quarter hens so there's the bone knife with lots of different implements can't you you know i think even with a crowbar you can kill a hen and then skin it um and then you can create a, a bone knife which will be a little bit more effective um moving forward what the devs have said is that 117 when it goes public there's going to be a lot less knives in the world so you're really going to have to be improvise making improvised knives and they also say there's a new way to make um uh, stone knives as well but um so hopefully that means there's going to be a few more stones in the world so i quite like that because there's a thing in Daisy, daisy isn't there that as soon as you get the the knife you're good to go as soon as you got a knife that, that, that's it you're good okay so let's put that in our pocket and let's have a look at this baby the um cr 550 savannah this new um uh, civilian uh, sniper rifle I've put the hunting optic on it here. Um, it has its own mag and it takes a 308 win. Um, really nice looking rifle. Um, yeah, fantastic. Love to see these these weapons. I love a, a nice hunting rifle to wander around with and then taking out deer or the odd zombie. Um, I guess you could put the improvised suppressor on it as well. Um, then we have the Longhorn, which is a really weird rifle. Um, I'm going to say revolver pistol. So the Longhorn, let's have a closer look, is a break action hunting pistol. 
So, it's, so you, you open it up like you would a shotgun, and then the three oh eight bullet goes in there, and you can put a pistol uh, optic on it. And the idea is that, because it's taking that massive bullet, you could then, a three oh eight bullet, you could then um, hunt, go hunting with it. I mean, and then you have to, you know, open it up. It only takes one bullet at a time. Put a new bullet in, and then you can, um, you can shoot at something else. So, yeah, an interesting, an interesting thing. I mean, I guess the the cool thing about it is, it's very small. It doesn't take much take up much space in your backpack. So, unlike a you know a rifle, um, you could have have a longhorn, and that will probably give you a chance of taking down, for example, deer with with one shot. Again, takes win three oh eight. So. Um, yeah, interesting, 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 interesting. Right, the P1, we've got another pistol. So the P1, this is like a, a Second World War um, uh, Luger um, from uh, Germany. Um, let's have a look a bit closer. See, it's, it's that classic, or like a Walther PPK, you know, James Bond's um, uh, gun. Um, uses, can't remember what it uses now. Uh, uses 9 by 19 mil um, and has its own magazine as well. Nice and small though. Um, you could probably put the pistol suppressor on it. I don't know. How, I haven't had a go. Oh, did I have a go? Uh, well, that's a pistol suppressor. All right, so it'd be improvised suppressor you you would put on it. But you know, what can we really say? Three guns uh, with with the update, absolutely fantastic. Now, what else have we got here? Now, <laughs> here we have the kitchen timer. So look at this, um, look at this bad boy. Now this could be a simple crossover from Vigor, because um, Bohemia Interactive, you know, they they publish a number of games, Armor Three, um, being the most famous one, Daisy, and uh, Vigor is one. And Kitchen Timers, that they they they're quite prominent in Vigor. So what we can do is let's just set it, let's just move it a little bit, and then if we look at it, if we zoom in. You can see it actually moving here, and it will go off in a bit, and you'll you'll see how loud it is as well. Now we have the pitchfork now. <laughs> Let's put that in our backpack. Let's um, pick up the pitchfork. There we go. Maybe it'll be a good, good melee weapon. You know, for stabbing zombies at range. Maybe um, good for sorting out straw and stuff like that. I don't know, but <laughs> cool. <laughs> There's now the meat tenderizer. Tool used to tenderize slabs of meat in preparation for cooking. Although the head is heavy and resistant, the handle may not stand up to excessive force. Um, yeah, you can't combine it with, <laughs> with, for example, chicken steak to make it taste nicer. But I, maybe, maybe it's going to be a good weapon. I mean, I'm not sure. Oh, I'll tell you what I did notice, which is quite odd. If you look at the kitchen timer, turn it or burn it. That's the description. Mm, so maybe we'll have to put one in a fire and see what it does. Um, what else have we got here? Um, the rope. All oh, right, with the rope you can. Um, oh, there it goes. That's the kitchen. That's it's gone off. Let's turn it off. Excellent. So interesting. So the rope you can now use as a uh, belt. Um, if you see in the bottom left-hand corner, it says tie belt. So it's like an improvised belt to hold your trousers up, I guess. I, I, it's not like you have a problem with them falling down otherwise, is it? But yeah, there we go. Um, now, here, here we have the improvised gas mask. Look at this baby. Um, to be used, obviously, where you've picked up a, a airborne mask or a mask that doesn't have a gas mask on. Now, obviously, this is it looks like it's made out of the top of a water bottle and some duct tape, and there's some stuff inside it. However, I haven't figured out how to make one yet, so I will do a video on how, how you make it. But that is the improvised uh, gas mask. Um, we also have <laughs> improvised torso wrapping. So you might see my fellow here. He's got this improvised face wrapping. So what you can do now is if you've got rags and you just put them into your hand, you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner it says craft improvised hand wrapping or face wrapping or feet wrapping or head wrapping or hand wrapping. Um, so, yeah, you can make yourself look like a, a mummy. Um, 
when I first saw this, I was a bit like, oh, this is a bit odd. Because the thing is, it's all poor insulation as well. It's not like it's good insulation. So I was thinking, why would you need it? And maybe what they're going to be doing is is reducing the number of clothes on servers. So, you you know, you're really going to have to um, struggle to, to find clothes. And there may well be things where, you know, you can't find any gloves. I thought this would be good on places like the mouths you know that where, where it gets very 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 cold and you're desperate to find clothes but the problem is the way you get clothes the way you get ragged is by ripping up clothes isn't it so why would you rip something up that probably has better insulation to change it to to worse insulation maybe it's it's a bit of a halloween thing so you look like a mummy i don't know i'm not really sure about this one i think we're gonna have to find out more maybe when di- dyes come to the um, game will be able to dye stuff like this um, and it, and it will look interesting anyway but there we go you can now make clothes you know there's feet there's trousers there's torso there's a there's head wrap um, and um, I've got this um, this face wrap on so interesting interesting um, I've got the um, brooms here because you can now light brooms here it comes there we go and use them as torches and also when you light things now like um light brooms and any it will give you heat so what used to happen is when you'd have a torch there, there was no heat coming from the torch but now you will so there's the broom and there's like the witch's broom as well um the gas mask filters um, when you when they run out of filtration, you can now add more filtration with uh, charcoal tablets. So if you find yourself some charcoal tablets, you put them in it and you can give them more life, so they don't just become um, rubbish, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, and I think this is pretty cool as well. Look at this. So this is the improvised cooking stand, which you make from one long stick and two small sticks, and then you kind of. Uh, go up to a fire that you've already put in place and it and it puts it into place and then you can hire you can hang a pot from it so that you can uh, cook food in your pot when you're not near a fireplace and they've taken away the need to have lard or water in a pot when you want to cook stuff so you can just put stuff in the pot and then hang it from an improvised um uh, cooking uh, stand and, and then cook it that way well i think i think that's pretty cool because it means you you can cook lots of food efficiently without having to um go to um find a find a house or, or something like that right so there are lots of other things that are happening in the um let's have a look where are we in this particular update but i think i've kind of i've covered a lot of it there's lots of things to do with accessibility as well so there's things like um they've adjusted con- lots of the controller settings um and uh sensitivity settings which i will do other videos about and there's now an extra um controller layout that you can use on console which is which is pretty good but i think this is a a nice exciting update three guns um improvised clothing um this kitchen timer what are these timers for why have we got them why have we got the alarm clock um and um yeah really looking forward to see what other hidden stuff is because undoubtedly i've probably missed stuff from this and uh, won't really uh, know what to do and things like that so there we go 117 it's on Ex- xbox experimental servers now on pc uh, and xbox and we're coming to playstation and public servers hopefully in the next couple of weeks and that's enough for me thank you very much and i'll see you again soon